Welcome to Cigar Time, your uh, ultra-friendly show all about <laughs> premium cigars. Uh, those of you who missed our banter for the last 10 minutes missed a lot. Yes. Unfortunately, this is a family show and a family hour, and those moments are lost. Forever. Forever. Actually, no. It, no, it was, we can still be. He was recording the whole thing. We I can know, also do but, it again, but, but bleep. But again, <laughs> I don't know if she, I don't I don't know if Nia can catch all the bleeps. Yeah. Wow, you know, she's quick. If she has a fast bleep gun, we have a fighting chance. But you don't know. Okay, today we're gonna talk about La Polina. Last week we talked about the Maduro. This week we're gonna talk about the natural. Uh, Why not? Oh, you know, they actually have a Connecticut and a Rosado, too. They yeah, they have a, yep, we have a, all four flavors and all the sizes. And not we're gonna all have the sizes. Not all the sizes. I think the Connecticut. Yeah, well, we have we most of the, the We have all the good sizes. <laughs> and later on, we're, we're going to have a spectacular offer, as long as everybody can remember what that was. Uh. <laughs> but don't worry. <laughs> I what? do. <laughs> I have it up here. Yes, That's but it's funny. December 5th. You're not going <laughs> to remember it. I think it's the 11th, I but think who's it's counting? The 11th. Okay. <laughs> See? See you, what already, I'm you already forgot what day it is. God help us, and I have to work with these people. Jeez. So. Uh, <laughs> okay, who wants to talk about La Polina? Who wants to tell us I what we're smoking? Can, can we light these can things? Yeah. Well, how how oh, was Thanksgiving, guys? Supposed to wait. Mine was fine. <laughs> oh, mine was fine. Working in stores, yeah, moving yeah, stores, opening <laughs> stores. <laughs> we had a great Thanksgiving. Christmas. Turkey <laughs> in the diner. There's nothing better than turkey in the diner. Oh, good. Uh, that's all Wendy gets when we go to the diner. Turkey is the winged version and not the guy sitting really? next to you. <laughs> no. I was listening to something on the right, like pe things people hate for Thanksgiving. A lot of it's like that, that the, the gel cranberry sauce uh, and yams. Yeah. Somebody said turkey. Turkey. <laughs> like, how can you hate? No, because you know a lot of people, of a lot of people cook, cook it dry. That is true. You know what's Turkey top of needs my to list? be moist. Guests. <laughs> <laughs> Guests. That's Guests my mom cooks a hell of a turkey. Though. Can I say hell of a? Yes. Yeah, you can say hell of a. <laughs> you okay. don't know after seven. Don't years. push your luck yes. though. <laughs> don't push your luck. <laughs> well, it was good, ma. <laughs> Did you have turkey? Did you have like lasagna? Turkey. <laughs> turkey lasagna? Turkey lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> actually Ground tur turkey lasagna. Actually, turkey and lasagna. You feed well, who, turkey who lasagna want, before Who wants to step up to the plate and describe what the cigar is made of? I haven't even tried it yet. Oh, yeah, well, hurry you, up. You read it just a few minutes ago. No, I was reading about Bill Paley <laughs> in a comment. We talked about <laughs> Hold on, Bill and his up. father last week. Retailers, cigar, there we go, cigars. Because this might be the one without Honduran tobacco, which will make me very happy. Yeah, because you don't like Honduran tobacco. Although you did like I did. I did like you, Oh, here we go. You weren't a big Villa fan. Here we go. <laughs> this is reminiscent of traditional Cuban cigars. La Polina's classic natural is wrapped with a traditional Colorado... When was the last time you heard somebody call it Colorado, Colorado Claro? Yeah. Colorado colored wrapper grown in the, in the best farms. Oh, the best farm. Yes. yes. The wow. medium strength cigar well, offers well, aficionados <laughs> everything they expect. Rich tobacco strength, medium strength, a smooth finish, and a truly classic experience. The wrapper, Honduran. Oh. Binder. Filler. Oh, binder. <laughs> Honduran. Filler. The wrapper's not Honduran. Yeah, it is. It That's is? What it says it here. is. Okay. Well, you might argue. Right? Yeah. Classic, natural, yes. And then the uh, the fillers, Dominican, uh, Honduran, and Nicaraguan. That's a very pleasant taste. And the Vitolas, yeah. vi Vitolas, Vitolas. Oh, Vitolas. <laughs> Vitolas. That's a size. Really? <laughs> size. He's new at cigars, apparently. How long have you been in cigars? <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say Violas. <laughs> Violas or Victrola. <laughs> you do guys that on purpose, right? I know. All right. I think the rest of them don't. We do. Uh, I think we have Robusto Toro and what's it? Uh, oh, uh, dead soldiers. Uh, oh, boy. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, sell that one and half off. Yeah, yes. Scott's fancy. That comes later. <laughs> so, okay. There, I can read. <laughs> oh, my cigar went out when I was reading. Oh, darn. Oh, gross us out with your fancy, expensive lighter. Okay. <laughs> now I, use, I use my. DuPont slash Dunhill lighter here. Is that new? 
Because <laughs> you new? could, because it didn't work yesterday. Uh, no, no, I actually replaced it. Oh. At the prices That's we what sell I said, these, is it? No. the prices we sell these things at, they're very affordable. Yes, they're very yeah. affordable. Well, so is that other what's a forty nine cent forty nine cent lighter? Oh, our forty nine cent instead a of matches. Torch. And it's a torch for forty nine. Is it refillable? Cents. I forgot. No, it's not refillable. But ah, I've, I've lit cents. hundreds of cigars, and I had Rob look at it. And he said, "There's half the fuel still in the darn thing." Really? Yeah. It's a single flame. They last a long time. Yeah, you, you, you can light a match. You hold it and look, okay. look through the lighter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't believe. How often do you do it? I mean, <laughs> when, when when you get a little box of matches that are about an inch long, and you got to put two or three of them together and quickly light or burn your finger, mm -hmm. these things are vastly superior. And at the cost of matches and the availability of matches anymore. Matches are expensive nowadays. Wow. Well, they blame the Chinese uh, trade uh, tariffs. Yes, they do. What do you want from me? That's what they use for an excuse to jack There's up the price. They buy them from buck. India. They buy them from <laughs> India, probably. <yeah>. Right. Right. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> they, buy, they buy them from Maryland Match. I doubt it. Actually, this bar reminds me. It's a milder smoke than the last one we had. Yes. Yeah, the Maduro was a little it is tasty. It's very flavorful, but it almost has a, a, a nostalgic taste? like flavor to it. Reminds nostalgic. Me of, it reminds me. I don't want to say retro. Reminds me of classic. No. Reminds me of uh, cigars like. When, when I first so started surprising. smoking them from like the, the early 90s, it kind of it just has that, it, it takes me back to that. And I'm sure the tobacco isn't any different than, but it's just it's what it makes me smoke. think of. It's earthy. an earthy, it, earthy. I have, aside from the La Polina Goldie, which was which was a fin phenomenal, fantastic cigar. Yeah, that's a great And it had the price to, um, to boot. I've always liked these better than the rest of their stuff. Like the rest of the family yeah. stuff, the uh, the black label. You're saying the, the classic. Red, the classic, yes. I I, <laughs> I, 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 it's the lesser expensive of all of the line, but I think it's the most flavorful. Yeah, I'd have yeah. to agree. And let me just explain. Uh, uh -huh. We'll we'll give you the offer a little bit later, but uh, <laughs> the company La Polina made oh, the decision a few not months yet. back to now instead of putting in these nice wooden cabinet boxes. They're going to put them in cardboard wide dress boxes. And they wanted to be rid of all the cabinet boxes. Same cigar, just different box. And we were able to buy up, I guess, around a thousand boxes or so, you know, at a reasonable price. And we're going to be offering to you at a spectacular price. I mean, these are not real expensive cigars to begin with. They're priced right at the lower end of the sweet spot and actually a little. Actually, yeah, it's a little sour. I was going to say, it yeah, I think what, yeah. seven at maxes of the Maduro at seven fifty. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and the naturals are what we say five seventy five. The small sizes are like five seventy five, and it goes up to seven fifty. And I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, and it's a great cigar at just the regular price. I mean, considering yeah. considering what cigars go for. Has anybody had the Rosado? I know you guys. Yeah, yeah I, I, I have week not. You guys yeah. had the Maduro. Yeah, Maduro. Maduro. I, Maduro. Had the Maduro. Maduro. I smoked the Rosado. How was that? Good. They, all, when I first smoked these, Sam Phillips, who's the, the fellow who runs La Polina for, mm -hmm. for Mr. Paley, when he gave me samples at the TAA convention a few years back, I mean, I really liked the cigars then. And then when we went over the pricing and everything, I was kind of shocked because, you know, there aren't cigars, a lot of cigars in that price range no, that are of the quality. There's a lot of lower end stuff, but this has got great quality to it. Sam's not still mad at me, is he? <laughs> no, he's not mad at you. Anybody, does anybody know that the, like the, I'm looking at the Rosado blend? It's exactly the same, except it's a Honduran Rosado wrapper. Wrapper, yeah, the wrapper's different. I wonder if it's Corojo wrapper. Because it's, it's, it's Rosado. You'll have to try it and find out. Have I have some. If you, you tell me what to do. You guys don't have them. I have some samples. Oh, that's right, go get them. I have some samples. Go get them now? We'll wait. I'll okay. Wait. Uh, stop the camera. No, okay. <laughs> no, just keep rolling. Rolling. Oh, got a 90 in 2018. Yeah, did. One of these models, I forgot which one it was, was in the top 25 a couple years back. Really? Yeah, Cigar Fish and Out of the Top. Some of them are, like the Mr. Sam was actually. Yeah, really yeah, good. yeah. They get some good ratings. Yeah. I, like I said, I like these. All right, so why don't we go around the table and get everybody's complete first impression. Moose, why don't you leave off? I'm, I'm enjoying this. In fact, I may like this a little better than the Maduro. Okay. Yeah, not everybody likes Everybody knows I love my Maduros. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm actually liking this a little better than, than the cigar we had last week. 
got okay. a lot of flavor to it, and it's on the mild side. Um, I'm going to turn to probably what will be our harshest critic on Honduran tobacco, but <laughs> she's very objective. Yes, I she am. will tell you. She <laughs> will. She will call it as she sees it. I'm guessing. Hold on, that you're getting a lot of spice from this, yeah. because I'm no. not. <laughs> we're always the this opposite time, on that. Yes, we're always the opposite. But no, this time I'm not getting a lot of spice. It's actually um, then I must be. very mild. I just didn't You're just wrong. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very mild so far. It's probably going to reach just under medium. Um, it's smooth, and the Honduran is not overpowering any of the good tobacco. So it's a good smokable cigar. <laughs> 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 good tobacco? Yes. I don't believe she said that. <laughs> the good tobacco. Scott? Not you're about a quarter in. It's it's. I would go with medium. Um, I think it's very. There's a real sweetness behind it. Yeah. And I don't know if it's. <laughs> I don't know if it's the just the direct taste of the wrapper or if it's from the smoke. But I, so far, this is really good. I like it. And it's yeah. It's for once, I agree with you on the spice. It's not not spicy at all. No spice. Nice. And definitely smooth. Yeah, amazing. Rob? If anything, I get a, a little white pepper on the tip of my tongue. A little bit, not a lot. Okay. Just a hint of it. Um, say it. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> You're an ass. Be nice. Um, <laughs> say, he, may be the ass. he may be <laughs> the ass, but you white stuck your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's why I just get a little bit of white pepper. It. It's I, I am getting a floral through taste through, yeah. the, re through the retro yeah, a little bit. Maybe yeah. that's the sweetness I'm thinking. Yeah. It almost has the sweetness um, of a Maduro, but, but it's not. I only get that through the retro hail, though. Yeah. I don't get it. No, I, I got it on the tongue. Um, and it's definitely earthy. You can definitely taste the Honduran tobacco. Mm -hmm. It's earthy, so that's my first Yeah, you're not a big proponent of Honduran tobacco. I, it's okay. I mean, one of my favorite cigars is yeah. a Honduran Puro. Exactly, but, yeah. You know, it's... I don't get that. I don't get it either. <laughs> I don't know the prejudice. It is I mean, what it is. I used to, but I really, I, there's not a ton of Honduran cigars there's or tobacco out there. There's plenty there, of there's them. Plenty of there's them. plenty of them. There's plenty of them. Yeah, I just really don't is. smoke them, man. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't get that. I don't know what the prejudice is against Honduran tobacco. It's I mean, rough. 20 years ago, 20 years ago, Honduran tobacco was bigger than Nicaragua. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, the Aroa family was. <coughs> well, and Bilizan. General yeah. cigars they had they had large facilities. Still do. They had punch. Yeah, but I know punch cigars oil. are made there, but I don't. I just don't seem remember seeing a lot of cigars that had like. They sell a lot of punch and hoyos. <laughs> no, yeah, but they're how ago, much Honduran well, tobacco they had versus just being made there. Well, I mean, well, they weren't. They were also made. In, they were Honduran tobacco made. In them. They weren't puros because back then, right? I used there to weren't I, too many puros. I used to love. I mean, I, I really liked Honduran tobacco like back when I first started smoking. Yeah. Well, but when I mean, I don't went to Honduras. When we went to Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe that's what made me hate it because we smoked so damn many of those things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what did we have, like 20 cigars a day or something? Something like that. I mean, we, I was so t sick and tired of the so good I was, stuff. That's I was average smoking. for me. No, I was going to say, that was a light day. <laughs> but uh, seriously, I got so tired of smoking the... Um, I got so tired like, of smoking the same stuff. The diplomat... Uh, the was it the diplomatic or the yeah. diploma, the diploma that I started smoking in, like the national brand sun the grass? The, I, yeah, I'm so sick of them. I'm like, I gotta smoke something different. We started smoking the La Fontana. That's what yeah, it was. Backers. The Baccarat. Yeah. With La Fontana. Oh yeah, La Fontana. <laughs> so tired of everything else. Don't knock that one. Sal was a good guy. Sal was a great guy. Great guy. His you know, one of his relatives, his son or grandson <laughs> or something, lives in Yardley. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Or did? Yeah. Till you moved in. Then yeah. Then he moved out. out. Worked. What are you do? Well, for me, I'm enjoying the cigar. I mean, uh, those of you who watch the show regularly know that price matters to me, in spite of what mm. my, my one other colleague may think and say. Price does matter. Well, two of them think it. One just keeps his mouth shut. Actually says <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah, probably. And uh, the wussy. It's it's keeps burning good. Well, I used to say it all. Got a nice taste to it. And you know, at the end of the day, it's all about the taste. Exactly. I mean, people it is. talk about strength and this and that. And, and that's no. what the rating Actually, should be at on. the end of the day, end of the day, it's about what you personally like. Yeah, Some exactly. people just like strong cigars, and if that's what they like, that's, that's, what that's on them. That's I fine. I, I'll, be, I'll be straight. I don't think most people 
know what strong cigars is. I don't think there are any strong cigars. I'll go even one further. Uh, there's not a ton of them. <laughs> there's a few, no, little, sure. there's a few yes. out there. They'll burn the back of your throat. Yeah, there's a couple. Not there's many. There's some. Like there's some that make your No, you're right. Spin. Not many. But no, there are I many. like strong no, cigars. Not exactly. I like Maduro cigars. But that's so for me to say this is a good cigar, and I would smoke and, you know, purchase. But because it has good flavor. Like, yeah. I could smoke a cigar that's extremely mild, but if it has yeah, great... Yeah, exactly. A great it example is the... Uh, um, Cohiba, Connecticut. It's Actually, really that good. is a very good example. It's a really good one. Yeah. No, I'm thinking of uh, La, the Pearl de Mar. Oh, yeah. Like, that. that's... And that's another inexpensive, but... Yeah, it's not expensive. It's Connecticut, but I think it has a Nicaraguan fillers. It is very mild, but very, and very flavorful. I liked yeah. the one we tried yesterday. Oh, yeah. That, that Romeo. Uh, he doesn't like it. Oh, you yeah. You didn't like the Connecticut... He didn't like it. Mm, just it's Nicaraguan. I, love I it. thought I would love it because of that. Yeah. Boy, I like that. I, I thought it was like really good. I thought it was a good cigar. Too. Yeah. I, mean I think I don't know what they're talking about. It was just a day <laughs> off for you. Yeah, well, <laughs> what did you guys try? You probably Kim, Kim will be in Saturday. I guess I told okay. him bring some samples, but he didn't have enough with him. He had the big boss with him yesterday. Uh. The big boss with the hot sauce. Big yeah, they sat up in Colmar for like three hours doing reviews. I'm like. He's a good guy, Paul. Yeah. Oh, Paul is a great guy. He bailed my bacon out in in, uh, <laughs> in the Dominican Republic last year. I was trying to check out of the hotel, and they had some arcane policy, and and, and they they couldn't cash a fifty or hundred dollar. I owed twenty dollars on the checkout, and they couldn't cash a fifty or a hundred, and they they didn't want an American credit card. I mean. They so he was just has, happened to be standing beside me, and he, he put the twenty dollars up on it. <laughs> so he paid it. But when he came in yesterday, I gave him, I gave him a twenty, <laughs> and I threw in a dollar for the interest. <laughs> 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 did no, you? We, uh, I'm sure I, I know you did, but I wanted to get your the the whole thing with the the FDA and the substantial equivalence and twelve dollars. That's not going to pass. Well, I I believe what the FDA will do with the substantial equivalence is basically rubber stamp. There is no way in God's earth between now and what is it, April think, or May? I think it's March 20th. Something like that. There's no way. There's over, I estimate, well over 100,000 skews. Yeah. And I might be light. There may be uh, more. Skew, cigars may be 100,000. It goes by skews, size but skews. and blend. Yes. That's a skew to me. It goes by size and blend. How in the world can they chemically they test it. it? They can't do it. So I believe what they will do, you know, people... Well, that's the whole idea of substantial equivalent is they don't have to... It's like this one. Right. And there, you know, I as many different cigars as there are, there's only really so many patterns of how to blend certain tobaccos with other tobaccos. And at the end of the day, it's all a natural product. There's nothing unnatural. The only thing that's unnatural is the band around it. I mean, even the, even even the cap is put on with vegetable glue, which is natural. So I was I was actually I think you're just gonna rubber stamp them. Probably. Uh, yeah. How do they? They how can't. Do they, they don't have enough people. No. I, they can't. The thing they, I was thinking is, but if let's say for whatever argument's sake it did pass, and the, the twelve anything over twelve dollars, you don't have to get the substantial equivalent. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of problems with that. With, yeah, the states the have taxes individual and, taxes, right? But like, wouldn't that just W wouldn't it make sense? Like, say, let's say somebody's a nine dollar cigar. Like, how the heck with it? I'm just gonna, raise I'm, gonna to I'm gonna raise it to twelve just so I don't have to pay the twenty to. Yeah, but then it becomes a competitive grand. thing. It becomes very competitive. You know, where yeah. do you draw the line? I don't, no, I don't know. Think, I, I don't. I, think, well, I don't think it has a chance. I, yeah, I, I don't think they there's know. too many problems. Well, first of all, I believe this bill, it's already gotten out of committee, and and it's, it's not before the Senate quite yet. But it'll die in the Senate because the right side is not going to pass anything like this. Right. I mean, our president Correct. is trying to do away with regulations, not keep adding to it. So. Correct. No, I, I, I believe that all this is headed towards putting everything under what we call the Jenkins Act, which covers most, to, most tobacco products, or all tobacco products, I guess. And they will probably do away with, sooner or later, the, the ability to buy things through interstate channels. And it'll be strictly face-to-face -face sales, yeah. because that's the only way the uh, our hard-working, loyal politicians can go around saying, see, we stop kids from smoking. You have to appear, show identification, blah, 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 just like you would buy liquor in most states. I don't know how, I don't know how anybody who sells online currently does it. Well, the verification, that's part of the problem. I don't think they're, I don't think the feds are real happy. I don't understand why they just don't do it. 
instead of they're monkeying around, stepping around it all the time. Because they're politicians. You want to do this, you want to do that, let's do this, let's do this. Just say, no, you can't buy online. You have to be face to face. It's Why don't they just come out and say that? It's the money. I, it's the money. <sighs> It's the money. It's the dumbest thing. Children Maybe, everybody. but it's the money at the end of the day. I believe Pennsylvania senators can't vote for it. They can't vote in favor of that. No, nor, nor can Florida, where we right. just happen to or, have stores. Or mm -hmm. Jersey. Well, they have a tax. Yeah, but but they're not going to vote for uh, getting rid of online sales because they don't want to lose that JR. Oh, that's, you well, know what I'm saying? No, that's, 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 that's a physical <laughs> store. <laughs> they don't ship out of Jersey. They ship out of North Carolina. Oh, is that right? North oh. Carolina. You know, and North Carolina only has like a 3% or but 3 cents or oh. something. It's a low tax. We've got the one over in Northeast, Atlantic, famous well, We don't have to get into CI. specific names, but yeah. Uh, you know <laughs> what I mean, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah I, don't think, no, I don't think it's any secret. These, the, the Pennsylvania is the hub of internet sellers. There's yeah. a lot of internet sellers here because there's no tax in Pennsylvania. That's why they're here. Exactly. But I think now with, uh, I believe it's Maryland, Ohio, and South Dakota uh, enforcing their collection of not only the sales tax, but the excise tax, that's going to make the brick and mortar dealers in those states far more competitive. It's a level playing field. Level playing field. Yeah. And when they pass, uh, I've been saying for years, when they do away with the sales tax, and that had been in the works for many years, when they overturn the Quill Wayfair Act, and now you have to remit the sales tax on all retail sales, unless there's certain, you know, nexus requirements, if, if you have a physical presence, blah, blah, blah. There's all kinds of hoops you gotta jump through. And I think uh, that's where this business is headed. I believe we'll get peace for maybe 10 or 15 years if in fact the politicians can, how should I say it, boast about, we stop children from the ability to buy. Right. And even though our, our industry, the premium cigar industry, is a tiny industry, I mean, it's barely a billion dollar industry, which is, yeah, in the overall scheme of things... It is tiny, but it's tobacco. It's tobacco. But the, the culprits, I shouldn't say culprits, the targets, the better targets for the government is, is not necessarily in any order, is vape, flavored products, and they're, you know, they're, they're 20 times bigger than premium cigars. Mm -hmm. And I, we kind of get hauled into that. Yeah, the baby goes out with the bathwater sometimes when it yeah. comes to the government. I was reading a comment by uh, Jeff Borshowitz, and I think what he was saying is that at least it, it's this $12 and up yeah, it's ridiculous. proposal. It, it's ridiculous, yeah, but it's ridiculous. at least, I think what he was saying is at least they're, they're recognizing that not everything has to be regulated exactly the same, that there's a difference between this and domestics and this and cigarettes and this and vape. Yeah, but your, here's your problem. At this point in time, there's no delineation between a three or four dollar flavored Correct. cigar, which is on their hit list because th they think that's a gateway for kids to start smoking. Despite the fact that it's and not. A, and, and a very ex a twenty dollar premium cigar. There's no, they're 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 considered the same. Right, but but what what he I think what he was saying is now they're, that they're maybe yeah, some people are willing to step. concede that okay, you know I what, agree. maybe there yeah. is a difference. Between a, but twelve dollars. I mean, uh, yeah, I know well, that, like that you pulled a number from the yeah, sky. Where did they get that number from? Well, I think that came from somebody. I think somebody once said ten dollars. Before, be said, before and somebody and said, 10 and they adjusted yeah. it right. for inflation. Right. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I thought. Yeah, yeah probably. But Speaking of money, we all know, <laughs> you know, those of you who shop in our stores or other brick and mortar stores, you know, we we don't cater. The others, I'm sure, don't cater as well to young people. I mean, we have strict guidance uh, here in Pennsylvania to allow the ability to people to smoke in the store, or have lounges in the store. You can't be under 18 to even come into the store. That's true. Even if you're with your grandparents or your parents. Yeah. The laws are stricter on, on smoking lounges or, or indoor smoking in Pennsylvania than there are on liquor. Mm -hmm. A child can go into a bar with a parent. That's true. And it, it, it happens and all, all the time in chain restaurants. That's all with the secondhand smoke. What's that? I'm sure it has all to do with That's the That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Kids, it's the clean air. I mean, you know, as soon as a kid clean walks era. into a cigar shop that is smoked, it just drops over instantly. <laughs> You've seen it. We've all seen it. <laughs> happens every time. <laughs> 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 he walks in, the next thing you do, it falls over. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, as I've probably said a hundred times over the last seven years on this program, I can't think of one person who, in our industry, the old timers in our industry, who didn't live into their 80s and 90s, right. yep. and they smoked 10 or 15 
you want to call strong, strong <laughs> cigars a day in a lot of cases. Yeah. And I, I've never, ever known anybody to get any kind of mouth or tongue or any kind of disease from smoking nope. premium cigars. No, I wouldn't advocate you smoke 10 cigars a day and inhale them. That right, would be I'll foolish. No. All right, I'll cut back. Yeah, cut yeah. that out, <laughs> but, but those of us who've been smoking for a long time, we don't do that. I, I would say the percentage of people that would inhale a premium cigar is probably in the low single digits, if that. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't inhale. It's not a pleasant experience. It's Speaking not. of low single digits, don't we, you, you mentioned earlier that there's some kind of offer. Yeah, I yeah. I, I've, I've been trying to think in my mind. <laughs> I'm just trying to get them. To Look, these up. cigars retail <laughs> for around 120 to 140 some dollars, and and you know, I I, th I think we should have a nice promotion. We have a lot of them. You know, what do you think, Rob? How about 99 dollars? Mm. That's, that's a nice that's round number. Line. Oh, that's my line. That's a nice round number. That sounds good, <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good value. I, I think we should go eighty nine ninety five. Now see, Moose, Moose see, is Moose headed is right in the right, right direction. Moose is right on line. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But it takes uh, a <laughs> <laughs> it takes a woman's touch. I think seventy nine ninety five out the door. I, I think like she hit it right on the uh, right on the <laughs> ground. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll I'll see you to seventy nine and do you one better. Okay. Buy three or more boxes, sixty nine ninety five. Remember the uh, email. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Nothing>. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. I think we've glanced over the fact that you don't even have a twenty dollar bill in your pocket. No, no, <laughs> what? but They're I were all fifties and hundreds. They were at the time. They were. I didn't have a twenty, that's, that's or, a or I might have had a couple that's ones a and fives. Difference five. between us and you. <laughs> I might have had some yeah, ones I and fives. I don't have a twenty. We've got, we've got <laughs> ones and fives. I, I might have had a. I might have had some ones and fives, but I, but I was using those for tips. Yeah. You know, to get out of an island hotel. By the time you get Stop from from the checkout to the to the bus to take you to the airport, <laughs> no. it's about twenty dollars in tips. No. You know, Manuel you gives it to all you have. Fifties and hundreds. The old to chance. That's what I heard. All right, we need our final round. 90. We need to move. I got a 90. No, oh, nice. Nine. A 90. Nine. 99? <laughs> no. A nine? Oh, is that what we do? No. Ah. You know what we do. You I don't remember. I can't remember yesterday. I, I couldn't even remember where I was yesterday. At your age, <laughs> told that's Tim not I was surprising. In, <laughs> told Tim I was in Doylestown. Or I Moose? said I was in Doylestown. I'll give it a 9.25. Wow. Told me. Uh, okay. Sorry, See? I'm prepared to be shocked. Marianne? <laughs> Um, I'll give it a nine. Wow! wow. Give it a nut. Holy well, this moly! This is a solid nine. This is what, very Bruce, good what did you give it? Nine two five. I'm going to have to agree with uh, Moose. Nine two five. Well, I tend to agree with you because price does matter. <laughs> Especially our new price should probably boost it up to nine point five. Not nine two five. No, nine two five is fair. <laughs> it's a worthy <laughs> cigar. Don't push it. Just want to remind everybody. Uh, to visit our new store in Doylestown, 1776 Southeastern Road. True that. You occasionally see Scott there in the flesh. Uh, he's available for weddings and bar Not a lot of flesh, thank you. Call before you go see so He'll sign autographs. <laughs> uh, I'll charge for autographs. I'll exciting sign. things happening in New Hope. We'll discuss that at another time. Uh, and our two stores in Florida, maybe any day now, any day you know, now. if I live Hopefully. long enough. Just want to remind everybody, it's cold outside, so please patronize your local brick and mortar that gives you free coffee, internet, Not cold lounges to smoke in this, kind of uh, this time of the year. This time of the year. Christmas is coming. We've got a full selection of all kinds of gifty stuff. And uh, until next right week, time. don't forget our show. Ciao for now, everybody.